One of the big staples of the San Antonio area is our Fiesta celebrations. They are so rich with history, so much to do. We're gonna cover all the major events here in this video and what you need to know about Fiesta 2024. Before we jump into Fiesta 2024 and all you need to know about the event, let's talk a little bit about how the event got started and the rich history behind it. Fiesta actually got started by a single event that is still occurring today, which is known as the Battle of Flowers. What's cool about this event is when it was started in the late 1800s, it was originally meant to commemorate the heroes of the Alamo, as well as those who fought in the Battle of San Jacinto. And so the Battle of Flowers truly, originally in its name, was exactly that. It was a parade slash a little mini reenactment of a battle where the participants were literally pelting each other with actual flowers at the time. They had different belt nap rifles and it was just a really cool celebratory event to memorize and memorialize all of those that fought and of course fell in these crazy battles that happened in our history. And so now today, this event is still occurring as one of the major Fiesta events and it's now grown to where there are other key events that any type of San Antonian will know and like to go to and attend year over year. So since that original Battle of Flowers Fiesta has occurred every single year, except for pausing for key years, such as World War I and World War II, and of course recently the COVID pandemic, but it is back on on full effect. The event is running this year from April 18th through April 28th, and there are so much to do, so you need to make sure that you write the schedule of key events down to make sure that there's nothing that you miss during Fiesta 2024. Okay, so let's jump into what you can expect at this year's Fiesta. So there's a ton of different events that will be going on throughout the city that are Fiesta affiliated events, but there are some major ones that the locals say are can't miss events. And here's a list of what some of them include. These are things such as the Battle of Flowers, the Texas Cavaliers River Parade, the Fiesta Flambeau Parade, and Yosa, which is night in old San Antonio, which is actually a really cool event. We're gonna cover a little bit about what that event looks like and why you can't miss it. And then of course, there's a popular Oyster Bake, another key event here in Fiesta. And there's actually a carnival as well that runs throughout most of the event that's located in the downtown area. So definitely don't miss that out as well. And then lastly, the Kings William Association has a family friendly parade through the historic district along with the food and art vendors at the King William Fair as well. So going through these can't miss dates quickly and then we'll break down some of these key events and what you can expect. First, we've got Fiesta Fiesta, which kicks off in Hemisphere Park on April 18th. We have the Texas Cavaliers River Parade which what that is basically is when they've got different floats on the river, the San Antonio Riverwalk, we have the boats where you can normally do the river cruise. They now put the different vendors and different people and different groups onto the river parade boats. And that's exactly what it is. It's a very colorful, lively uh, parade on the water. So definitely make sure you check that out on the Riverwalk down on April 22nd. The next can't miss event is Neosa, known as Night in Old San Antonio at La Villeta from April 23rd through April 24th. And what you can expect at that four night event is tons of vendors serving different foods, food on a stick, beverages, and it's it's set in the traditional downtown historic district that we have right by the river walk. So it's really cool and can be crowded. So you need to make sure that you get there early because it does fill up, but it is an amazing can't miss event here for Fiesta. Next, we have the Ford Mariachi Festival. That's from April 23rd through April 25th, every day from 6 to 8 p.m. Another great event that you don't want to miss. We have the Fiesta Hat Contest on April 24th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Then we, of course, have the annual battle, the 88th annual battle of the Flowers Band Festival. That'll be at the Alamo Stadium on April 25th from 6.30 to 10 p.m. You actually have the Battle of Flowers Parade itself, Viva More. That's April 26th is when the parade itself will be occurring this year. And that's again from 9.30 a.m. through 12 p.m. Most of the downtown streets are blocked off, so definitely avoid it unless you're planning to attend. We talked a little bit earlier about the King William Fair, which both has an art parade and of course that art exhibit event. You don't want to miss that on April 27th, and that runs from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Same thing, get there early. It gets very, very full. Another parade that we have is the Fiesta Flambeau Parade on April 27th, and that's the night parade. So that's where you're gonna see again, the floats are gonna be vibrant, many colors, everybody's dressed up in these amazing costumes and it's everything's lit, it's bright, it's great for the kids. And again, that is April 27th at 7.15. And then the last big event, the festival, 
de Cascarones at Texas A&M University, San Antonio. That's on April 28th from 1 to 8 p.m., signaling the last day of Fiesta. All right, so that's a lot of information, but what you need to know, of course, is that all of these events are unique and have a lot of history within them. So definitely catch as many as you can, especially if you've never been to Fiesta. Some of the more popular ones would be making sure that you go to Neo Sauna Night or the Oyster Bake, those are really the two, and then catching one of the parades, either the Battle of Flowers during the day or the Fiesta Flambeau Parade late at night at seven o'clock. So definitely make a pick and catch as many of the major ones as you can. One of the other cool things about Fiesta to know is that they actually have like a Fiesta royalty court. So every year they change members out on this and different boards elect different members, but it's a cool concept where there's a king and a queen of Fiesta that kind of are the chairman of the celebrations and really, again, creates a competitive spirit and atmosphere in our amazing city and in what Fiesta means to a San Antonio local. So this year, King Antonio, the King of Fiesta, King Antonio as it's named, will be unveiled during the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. And then other members of the Royal Court, such as Miss Fiesta, will be introduced at the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. One of the other major staples of Fiesta is known as Fiesta Medals. If you've ever gone to Disney World and seen kind of the pins that they have there for pin trading, Fiesta Medals are very, very similar. They are these metal or brass or different metallic pins that local businesses, vendors, and booths will create their own, their custom one. And then a lot of people try and collect as many Fiesta Medals as possible. And so when you go to these events, you'll actually see a lot of different people who have many different medals throughout the years, different events, and it's almost like an exclusivity thing where you want to see who has the most medals, who has the oldest medals, and creates that cool collection. As far as what type of food to expect the Fiesta, there's a lot of staples that we have here in San Antonio. This is one, of course, that is known as corn in a cup. We are very serious about corn in a cup. It has to be made the right way. There are certain ingredients that go into it, and these knockoff corn in the cups do not equate to some of the best ones that you'll find here at Fiesta that have been made for generations by the same family. So definitely make sure that at any of these events that you try a locally made corn in a cup. Very, very serious. In addition to that, it's at things like Neosa, you'll find a lot of people eating stuff like chicken on a stick. That's really popular. And of course, we've got our alcohol, a lot of beer served at some of these events, sausage and gorditas. So lots of amazing, cool food to try. And of course, at the Oyster Bake, you'll be naturally inclined to try unique oyster-based bites like oyster shots, and they even have different types of other seafood. So definitely make sure that you check out the Oyster Bake for a unique tasting that really only happens during that event during Fiesta. Let's talk about parking. A lot of these events occur in downtown San Antonio, and so there's multiple public lots that are paid to park in that you can use for the Fiesta events. You can also use some of the major garages such as the River Center, AMC, uh, garage parking garage which is right there on the river walk and then there's also the public parking across from the mcdonald's downtown as well by the freedom torch is that's available for you to use and park in in addition to that you get there's a lot of different lots off site where via bus which is our public transport system will bus people in from lots across the highway and bring you down into the inner city to make it cheaper to park or even free potentially if you park far enough away and take the bus and transit into the inner city but definitely plan early, get to these events early because parking does fill up quick. All right, lastly, what to bring to Fiesta. Of course, a lot of these events occur during the day and here in Texas, it has been getting hotter earlier and earlier in the year and this is no exception. Make sure that you remember to pack things such as your hat and sunglasses. Definitely bring some sunscreen, especially for these events that occur during the day. Water, make sure that you guys are well hydrated, especially during the parades because you can be sitting out in the sun for a couple hours depending on when you get there to reserve your spot for these parades. Of course, pain meds as well. If you're gonna be doing a lot of walking or standing if some of these events run kind of long, make sure that you bring that as well. All right, also I know that's a lot of information. Definitely check it out. There's a lot of great videos that will cover the events themselves. If you wanna check some out on YouTube and look at like a video of what Neosa looks like or the Oyster Bake, we wanted to just give you kind of a summary of what you could expect. Some of our best tips, tricks, and practices to make sure that you are best prepared for Fiesta 2024. And of course, provide those key dates for somebody who may not have gone before and is looking at what events must I go to because sometimes when you look at the Fiesta calendar, it's a little overwhelming with how much is going on. My name is Chris Marty, aka The Rebate Guy. This is our channel where we talk all things San Antonio, lifestyle, entertainment, and real estate. Please like and subscribe for more amazing content and we'll catch you next time.